Good afternoon, guys. Want to enjoy your fishing? Um, I've just come down to Lake at Welton just to have a little feeder session. I thought I'd just show you how I'll go about it. Right. Um, what I do is I always measure the ground bait out. Today I'm going to use the sweet skimmer from Solo Baits and always measure it out because you don't need a lot when you feed a fish in and how expensive it is nowadays then it just goes further and I'm going to make that with the same amount of F1 green. I just mix. I don't need to drill on because Johnny mixing a little bit of ground bait. But what I am going to do, so that it soaks, soaks all the water up. I'm going to overwet it. looks a clunky mess but believe me that'll come back and then I'll riddle it. Right, the only the only bait I've got got worms. I have got a few red worms with me as well. Got some belly, pellets just to put in my ground bait. Right and I've just soaked them a little bit so that they're spongy. Got some dead reds and some pinkies. Right. And we'll put them worms in that, and then what I do is I just chop them in that. Right. If I just show you the lake, look. I think go over there because it's all that floating stuff on, and it'll just play havoc with my line and that. This part of the lake is pretty clear, so that's why I. Welcome back guys, well, I've, I've shown you my bait and now I'll show you how I start my session. I'm just going to fish two lines, I'm going to fish one at 25 to 30 metres but what I'll do is I'll plumb up and then I'm just going to fish a underarm line for smaller fish. I can use the same rod for both, it's really nice rod, I've got really soft rod it is, it's the um, Drennan 11 foot quiver rod and I should be able to see, because you, you can't use braid on here so you should be able to see every bite right, Let, let's see if I remember to um, take my line clip off no, I didn't <laughs> Right, let's have a count. Bottom didn't feel too bad there. It's quite shallow there. 
Jesus. Try again. nearly a count of three so there's probably about six or seven foot there I've just cast over to that that way a bit one two three ah, a little bit deeper that side Feels like the feels like the lake bottom is sloping a bit from right to left. So I'll pick a marker. Okay, that'll do there then. I'm going to do is put six, seven of those in. But first of all, I'll just go to my sticks. So that if I have any accidents, I've got a point of reference. So I'll just measure that up, guys. I've got me three meters. Right, well, I'm not going to put any worm in to start with. You know, I'm just fishing for anything, so I want to try and keep the fish down on the bottom. It's quite high pressure today, so it is and there's quite a few fish cruising on the top so i might might have my work cut out for me today there you go guys i'm just going to put six of them in I've just put a few micros, a few pinkies and dead reds in that. Just leave it a second when it hits the bottom. I'm not squeezing it too tight, I'm just squeezing it hard enough to get to the bottom.
I overwetted it, you see, when I started because I just want everything to sink. I don't want particles just going up and down in the water column. Now I'll put one more in and then I'm just going to leave that line to settle now and hopefully one or two better fish. <laughs> right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start on my short line. with a small cage feeder and then I'll probably go smaller than that just gonna fish that for half hour just to get some bait in I do the mid, I do the majority of my hook lengths to a meter. I do. This is a size to set twelve chinta hook. And it's to point thirteen fluorocarbon. So I know that little side tray is 650 long, so I'm going to start off at about 7. Seven hundred mil. spear line back in your bag What I'm going to do is I'm going to underarm this but then I'm going to clip this up as well. Actually, I've got, I've got, there we go, look.
Well, at least we're not water leaked anyway. That's why I always carry black electrical tape with me. Then cage feeder, I can just make it into an open-ended feeder so that it just gets straight down to the bottom. When doing this this way you need a really soft rod because it will cushion. If you hit a bit better but it will it will cushion it. The tip just tapped a bit, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide it along just a little bit, like that. Just see if I can encourage another fish just to take. There we go. Ooh. I'll just come off that. I was probably a bit eager then. I've changed my feeder to a smaller one. There we go. Isn't that too long? You can soon build a way to them up just by doing that. see the rest I'm using look it's so if I miss a bite I can slide it I'm only, I'm only fishing on a single red maggot at the minute on a size 12 chinter but the chinter rooks are a smaller size than in the UK Each time I'm just putting half a dozen 
dead reds in. Or a few pinkies. Getting little taps like that all, getting little taps like that all the time. Just wait for it to go. That's why I'm only fishing a really light tip. Right, that ain't developed. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide my rod along that look and see if that encourages one to take it. There we go. You see, just by little perch. Right, let's just try two. That's why I use, when I'm doing this sort of fishing, and bream fishing if I can, that's why I use the long, the long rest. What I will do in a minute though, is I'll shorten that hook length in a minute, I think. Half a dozen pinkies in this time. Well, I've been fishing about an hour, guys. And I say I've got between 45 and 55 fish, I would think. Just fishing short. Oh. Missed that one. <laughs> I have shortened. My hook length to 50 centimetres now. Most, most of the fish are sort of between an ounce and three ounce, and then I've had a perch, but 10 ounce, 10 or 12 ounce anyway.
just started introducing just a little pinch of worm. I have. There we go. about four ounce there right we'll give just a one more go on this and then I'll give this line a rest start off with three with three dead reds on that one Let's see if there's out waiting for me on that longer line Just putting a little bit of worm on. be surprised if it's a if I get a bream today it was really warm earlier on and, and the pressure's really high so I, I think the fish are up in the water to be honest I think That's 
put Try on my short line again. Never mind. <laughs> So it's good to come and practice. There we go, look. That perch.
Really interesting though, fishing like this. Right, Ooh. let's go and put back guys. And that's all right. See? Probably about six pound of small fish there on the short, most, mostly on this short feeder here. I've only had one or two on the bit longer one, like. Um, I have had a, one of the big carp that's in here. I mean, it's not a commercial, but I've had, there are some really big carp in there. I've had on my long line that's straight milk out, right. Um, but it's been all right. It's always good just to come in practice and just practicing me short range feeder fishing. Just need a light rod for it. You do like you know with like three quarter ounce 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 tip and, and really soft action, and then um, you you don't miss many really. And, so, but I've really enjoyed that. But same as anything, if you want to improve at anything, then you've, you've just got to practice. Right, and I don't mean really short range feeder fishing. Needed a bit of practice, and because uh, you, you can soon get out of practice if you're not doing it. And, uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little video. I'll have a lot coming up, river season starts soon, uh, in August we've got the uh, Feeder National on the Trent, um, so there'll be a, quite a few feed, feeder videos coming out, um, and obviously uh, river videos as well, can't wait actually for the 16th, that's when our cloud season finishes in the UK so uh, we can get back on the rivers and the canals and that so that's good anyway I hope, I hope you enjoyed that little video guys and uh, huge thanks for everybody who's watching and subscribing really does mean a lot guys um, thank you so much and um, anyway as always look after you son. take care until the next time Enjoy your fishing. Bye for now, guys. Bye.